So the network's functioning correctly right now. RIP is auto summarizing, right, or classfully advertising these three subnets of the 192.168.1 network space into the 1.0 network, the 1.64 network, and the 1.128 network. And it's successfully advertising these networks as a 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network, right? So it's advertising this network and sending it across. Okay, and this router learns that there is a one network over here. It doesn't learn that there's actually three subnetted one networks. It just knows that there's a one network over here, and so it'll direct all packets to one address going this way, and um, then this router will deal with it when it gets there, right? And this is great when everything, when you have contiguous networks. In other words, you have the 1.0, the 1.64, and the 1.128, and this is all great and working because they're all contiguous. They're all in a row, and they're all on this side, right? But what happens if you change this network and you change this one to a 1.192 slash 26, okay? And let's change this PC to 194, right? And this router interface to 193, okay? So now you've got a 192 slash 26, 194 slash 26, and a 193 slash 26. We'll change those configurations and we'll see if we can still ping across. And we probably won't because this router is going to be telling this router that all the one networks are over here. But this router is going to know for a fact that it has a one network connected to it. So we'll see how, how this causes problems. Okay, so we have to change the configurations here. So I'll click on this client and change its address to one. 94. I'll put in the correct subnet mask, right? And also it's going to be a 1.194 and a 1.193, right? So that's the correct client settings for the 1.192 network, right? Second host gateway the router will be the first usable host and the correct slash 26 subnet mask okay now let's change the routers configuration now the routers configuration this is the first I'm guessing this is the first interface which is fast ethernet 00, zero. so that's the one we need to change so we'll go in here we'll say Configure terminal to get to global config mode. Interface FA 0 slash 0. IP address 192.168.1.193 with a correct subnet mask. Let's stretch this out. I'll put a no shutdown command just in case. Right? So now we've changed this interface to the correct network, right? And we need to now change RIP. So what we'll do is we'll say Control C, Conf T, Router, RIP. And we'll say No Network 192.168 dot two dot zero because we got rid of the two network alright but we're adding network one nine two one six eight one dot one ninety two and you can see where this is gonna not work right off the bat so now I'm gonna do a control C and hit enter and do a show run to show our running configuration you'll see that RIP's advertising the 10 network, the 1 network, the 3 network, and the 4 network, right? Well, that's a problem because 
this guy's advertising the one network over here. So how could the one network be over here, auto-summarized, and then this guy's advertising the one network. And so they're both saying that, hey, I've got the one network over here. And this guy's saying, I have the one network over here. So let's see if the if that's going to um, work, right? We can even look in the routing table to see how the router makes sense of it now. Okay, well, let's see here. It says that he's got the one network. He sees that he's got the 1.192 connected, right? Directly connected. So he sees that. But he also has a RIP route to the one network, right? And he's got two different masks on this thing, right? So it says here, one network's variably subnetted. There's two subnets, two masks. Um, so we're going to have a problem here. This route, the connected route, is going to be uh, administrative distance AD zero, right? So this will be prioritized. And the RIP route with an administrative distance of 120, you can see the 120 here, and the metric one hop away, that won't be as good as this, this one network. So let's see what happens when this router tries to, um, when we try to ping across. So let's try to ping 1.2. So we'll go here, command prompt, and we'll try to ping 1.2 just like we did before. And you'll see that the request is timing out. The router, the request to ping 1.2 is not working because the router believes that it has the one network on its connected interface, and so it's not going to send it across. So in this case, the fact that RIP auto summarizes has caused problems, right? Because we have discontiguous networks. We have one network subnetted over here, and we have one of the subnets over here on the right and now it's not functioning correctly because RIP only functions classfully and cannot see them as separate networks. It just sees them as a one network.